I'm Jason Schron from Rapido Trades Inc. and that is the FPA4 locomotive. In November 2011, we headed to Expo Rail near Montreal, Canada's National Railway Museum, to have an FPA4 party. We had good times, we had good food, we had good company, we had movie screenings, we had model trains, and most importantly, we had a 3D scan of the real FPA4 number 6765. Justin Parquet from Createform 3D performed the 3D scan using a Canadian designed long range scanner. Using a laser and positioning target, the scanner acquired the shape of the FBA4 from different angles and different fields of view. Justin moved the scanner all the way around the locomotive in order to get as much detail as possible. The result, once cleaned up, is a point cloud file of the FBA4 that is so clear it can even pick up the Canadian national lettering on the side. Just to be certain, Bill, Dan and I crawled all over the real thing at Danbury to get super detailed close-up shots, especially of the underbody. The scanned files and photos were sent to our engineer, who then worked with us to fill in the missing pieces and designed a perfect replica in HO scale. In this age of technological awesomeness, getting the shape of the FPA4 was one thing, but we also needed to get the sounds of the FPA4 for our model. So we went off in search of a working FPA4 locomotive, and Bill and I found one in Gowanda, New York. But what about Dan? Very good question. What about Dan? Right, as usual, Dan was asleep under his desk. Where was I? Yes. Gowanda, New York. The New York and Lake Erie is a short line railroad on the eastern shore of Lake Erie. Owned and operated by Bob Dingman, it is known to rail fans for fall color trains behind former Via Rail FPA4 number 6764 and FPA2U number 6758. We were in Alco heaven. You may be wondering why I'm wandering around my office with a CN Dinator cart carrying some bamboo. The answer is, I have no idea.
probably two more times. <laughs> Roger, back down and up the hill. We're going to change ends on the locomotives. final recording for the FPA4 sounds and that final recording is the startup. So we did all the recordings, we shut down and now we're about to record the startup and then we're done our sound recording for the day. For this I'm just going to stay on the roof. I may regret this but that's my plan. So you see, our FPA4 locomotive, and for that matter, our FPB4 locomotive, will be accurate in shape and in sounds. So I hope that means you're going to order several million of each. Okay, Mike's is on being a little bit unrealistic, so I hope that means you're going to order several thousand of each, especially if you model the Denver and Rio Grande Western in SN3. Speaking of which... Sean Rio Grande. Rio Grande here. We're all done here, Lieutenant. One to be up. Aye, aye, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs>